Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com. Today I am making, well, I'm doing a lot of grunt work, actually. And in this particular case, I'm building a uh, reed farm. Wow, I've, uh, I'm so popular, I've already got text from people. Hang on a second. What does this say? What's it doing outside? Okay. It's my wife. <laughs> what was I doing? Um, this is wrong. This shouldn't be here. It should be this one right here. Alright, anyway. Uh, this is set up in a pattern to get the most amount of reeds with the least amount of space. And this is the best efficiency I can find. I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of a whirlwind pattern. Uh, so I'm not going to bother. Anyway, that's not why I, I got on. I was bored. I'm, I should be writing, I should be drawing, but instead I'm playing. And I'm listening to a philosophy podcast called uh, The Partially Examined Life. And I was looking, uh, when, I, when I get bored, I start to, uh, nighttime comes through while I'm, uh, while I'm doing stuff and a lot of grunt work. And, um... Uh, during nighttime, instead of sleeping in the bed, which you think would speed things up, I uh, I go over here in my little corner and I open up my inventory and I start looking at stuff. And I really wanted this divining rod because it's an alchemy item that I can make without a philosopher's stone and unique valence dust. Well, if you remember, I tried to make this before, but it didn't work. And then we uh, I accidentally had the ability to make this convalence dust, which did work. And so I'm like, why didn't this work? It, it requires coal and a whole bunch of cobble. You think I'd be able to make that? Well, I'm looking at it, and that's not... That's not coal! That's charcoal. And I think for this kind of conveyance dust, it just takes regular coal. So you know what? Let's make some divining rods. That's what I want to do right now, and I wanted to get it on, online. So we're going to make some divining rods for this. We're going to need a single piece of wood, and we're going to need a lot of copper. Do I need this? Not really. Let me get out of there. Alright, let's cook that wood. Actually, let's keep that on us. Put some stuff away. Grab the charcoal. And make some conveyance dust. Oops, that's, that's not a bad thing. It was shapeless, which means this could actually go in any way. I could put this here or here. Isn't that neat? Conveyance dust. We have conveyance dust. And we can use it to, I guess, fix things? Not not those things, obviously. Um, I think it's used to fix, like, uh, stone items. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Because the next thing we're going to do is grab some redstone from our little area here. Grab a piece of iron. And then we're going to make really cool conveyance dust. Super conveyance dust. Okay, this next one's gonna hurt, but I'm pretty damn sure I can find another diamond. So we're gonna take a diamond and a piece of coal and make uber conveyance dust. Yay, all right. And now I can finally make what I've always wanted to make, a divining rod. So. Put this in the middle. Actually, is this shapeless craft? Does it... No, it's shaped craft, so it has to be in the middle. Alright, that's fine. We put a stick in the middle, and we surround it. There. I have a divining rod. Suggested value around ten. One. Nah. Nan. What does this do? supposed to do? 32. 32. I can't use it on that guy. Uh, well, yes I can. I will beat you with my new divining rod. That's what I'm gonna do. Stupid thing. 
about one, about one, huh. All right, well, let's make an even better divining rod. Now, this conveyance dust is super conveyance dust, or I don't even know what they call it. So, let's see, I should be able to heal my sword with that. Yes! My sword is, like, brand new and shit. All right, cool. To make that, we take our divining rod, we surround it with this cool su surveillance dust, conveyance dust, and now we have this. Best found one. Best found one. Best, best found 32. What do these, what do these mean? Around 27. Okay. Uh, can we look? It says one. Huh. Not, not real sure what these, these mean. Wow. 136, but it's 192. What does that mean? Now that we don't know how to use this divining rod, let's make an even better one, where we take this super conveyance dust that you used to make all kinds of cool shit. There we go. Or uber conveyance dust. I, I don't, I'll just call it blue, cyan, and greenish. Third, second, what? Third, second. Let's try a rock. What is mean? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna look this up real quick and figure out what the hell I'm looking at. Okay, here's what I figured out. Uh, first off, I figured out that I should probably get this Kvela stuff out of my inventory <laughs> because it appears to consume some kind of fuel and I don't know if this stuff counts as fuel. So I'm going to put this away, and maybe I can use that later for fixing things. That would be really neat. Oh, it goes in this order. There we go. Second thing I learned is, here's what this works. It gives you uh, one big number, which shows in the sort of direction. That's what it means. Um, whoa. Something over there is kind of fun. To look into that. All right straight down. The thing where it says best found, it shows three numbers. The first number is, uh, how do I put this? It is the value, the highest rated value of something in that direction. The second number is the next highest value, so this one's four, which means there's actually something down here. Well, it has a rating of four, maybe coal? Whoa! 256! Something down there is worth getting. Okay, what if, what do we know about the cardinal rule? And I don't wanna I don't wanna screw up that bad. Cardinal rule of Minecraft, never dig straight down. Whoa, lag tastic. There we go. It's it's actually getting better as I go down. What's down there? Try it again. No, oh, not anymore. So it's this level, apparently. Obviously, the higher the number, the more expensive the item. There we go. I think this is it. That might be useful. I'll have to get used to this. No, it still says it's down there. Something's down there. I'm not real sure if this is a cone shape or, or how it rates what direction, but it just generally means in this direction there is good stuff. Or does it mean this direction? Let's find out. 4, 320, 256, 256. So obviously there's some experimenting to do. Was it this way that was 320? Oh, this one was. Alright, anyway, I'll work on it and uh, I'll get back to you guys. This might be useful for things like uh, branch mining. It's still this way. Supposedly this blue one checks the entire 
uh, what do I call it? The chunk? Alright, well, I'll, I'll play around and, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, folks, I kind of figured this out now. <clears throat> First off, if you're going to use a downing, dowing rod, which you might want to, because this thing makes grinding so easy. Um, here's how it works. You have three levels for a dowing rod, especially this really cool one that I got, which it took me a diamond to get a hold of. Uh, you have uh, short range, which is 3x3x3, three by three by three, so it, it looks three blocks in inward, and it looks three blocks, uh, uh, you know, one to the side, one to the side, and one in the middle, and one up above, one below, and one in the middle. So it makes this little rod that just checks uh, three, and it shows best found, well, all it can find is rock, because rock has an ECM of one, ECM being how the currency for, uh, for equivalent exchange. Alright, so that's no good. Uh, then you have mid-range, which is 16. All that means is it does the same deal. You know, one to the side, one to the other side, one above, one below, and then it makes a cone straight in the middle, or a, a rod, uh, it checks straight in the middle. Uh, but this time it checks uh, 16 aside, and as you can see it says best found 4, which probably means there's some coal in there somewhere. And then you have long range, which is 64, which is one hell of a long way down, and it says, okay, well, if you go down far enough this way, you're going to find something with an ECM of 256, and possibly some 128, and then a lot of rock. So I've been set setting this to mid-range, which is all I've been really needing, because I don't want to dig 64 that direction. And uh, you, you just go check, 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 hang on, we're going to find it, check, check, whoa, 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 back up, what's this? It went from 128 to like 16,000, so what the hell happened? Well, what it tells me is that, let's see, since it just now happened here and it checks one to the side, it means that right here there's some tungsten, which is really, is like more precious than diamond. And then we check below, oh, well, since uh, here it shows me where that uh, there's some tungsten, but not that one below, that means that it's actually up above uh, about 16 in. So let's, let's, what, what? Oh, that's, that's nickel. That's that nickelite. That's fine. Okay, let's dig in further and we're going to find some tungsten. It could be anywhere uh, 16 deep into this little tunnel. Two, three, four, five, six. This is 12 deep now, and I think I already see the tungsten. Yep, that's tungsten right there. And just to complete the tunnel, I'll, I'll move this in here. Now, that number that it's showing, that's the highest amount. That's not a, an addition. That It's not adding up all the ECM available in this block. It's only adding up the highest amount of ECM it can find. And there we go. I caught some tungsten, so now you, you can't tell, but I had seven tungsten, or now I have eight. So, okay. This this has made finding materials for, for crafting so easy. It's basically like branch mining, only I don't have to branch mine. And this, this is just sick. And uh, now whenever my iron pick, you know, drains out, I just put some of this coalescence dust and it fully heals it. So already, um, <laughs> already I'm feeling like uh, the equivalent exchange mod is really overpowered if you know how to use it. And I love every second of it. So I'm going to continue grinding. But this is really hardly grinding now. Alright, uh, back at it I go. Oh my god, you guys. I've been mining for 28 minutes, and this is what I got. That's crazy. Look at this. I got gold, I got diamond. This is going to be a pick. <laughs> I've got ton tungsten. I got 13 tungsten. Look at the ECM. 16... 1,384, as opposed to diamond, which is 8,192. Man, this, this dowing rod, this dowing rod is sick, man. It is so awesome and just wrong. It actually, it's almost to the level where it feels like cheating, and it's one of the reasons why I kind of doubted mods. But uh, I guess uh, the mods make up for it by, by adding uh, extra difficulty to things. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna sort through this and keep grinding, and 
You know what? You know what? I'm going to go and get some obsidian, and we're going to get to the nether, and we're going to start the, uh, <laughs> we're going to start messing with equivalent exchange now. Because I think we got enough fuel to, to really make something special. You know what? I'm looking for this energy condenser, and I don't, I don't think I need to go to the nether for this. An energy condenser is something that you can use to kind of take all items and condense it into one deal. It would basically make my storage area over here completely worthless. Like, I mean, like, there would be no reason to store anything. I could just condense it all into diamonds or something equivalent to it. And since I have my item library, I can just duplicate whatever I have with it. So, okay, let me look at that. What do I need? Okay, I, I'm going in. First off, let's see what I need. I need obsidian. I need diamonds. I have a few diamonds, or if I don't, I can just grind for it. We've already seen how easy grinding is. For an alchemy chest, I need a chest, a diamond, a couple of iron ingots, some smooth stone, and the coalescence dust, which I already have. Alright. Let's start with an alchemy chest. I'm going to need some smooth stone. I, I think i got a diamond in my item library. Yes, I do. So I don't... I can just always make more once I get the uh, coalescence dust. Oh, hell, I don't even need that. I need a chest, which I can make. Iron ingots, which I got over there. Alright. I think that's a zebra on top of my mind. I'm not sure why. That's what's been whinnying. There we go. Let's... Alright, let's put this together. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. This is what, the eight part? Yeah, well, this goes here. The green coalescence dust goes over here. The blue coalescence dust goes over here. And then the chest goes in the middle. Boom! Alchemy chest. Okay, now. To make an energy condenser, we need for obsidian. Alright, it's time to make a uh, diamond pickaxe. I'm not too worried about it. I, I actually have enough coalescence dust for a diamond pickaxe that I can just build or reset this one. And uh, I'll be back with some obsidian. Oh my god. If this works, this is going to be totally sick. It means I'll be able to duplicate anything. Uh, oh, I put my diamonds away. Where are my diamonds? Okay, I need four of these. And honestly, what else am I going to use them on? Because I have a tendency to like just collect diamonds without, without using them for anything. I'm sure you guys are the same. Here it is. Energy condenser chest. Sick! I need to put this someplace special. Here looks good. Just for now. Open her up. It's huge! Oh my god. Let's try something simple. Let's let's take this bit of wood and we're gonna put some how much is that? Eight? Okay, it's the other way around. Let's take this uh, this piece of cobble and we're gonna put this uh, bit of wood into the cobble and it's gonna turn into cobble or into the energy condenser. It should turn into cobble. Yep, there we go. Eight cobble. So, by that same idea, we put a piece of wood in, we put the cobble in, and it'll just, boom, turns into wood. Alright, cool, cool. So now let's see... Hmm... Let's, let's take some... Man, they're dying out there. Actually, you know what, that's perfect. Let's try this out. Hey, dude. Die. Give me meat. Give me some kind of meat. No? No? Hey, chicken. You'll do too. Let's see, ECM-64, ECM-48... So, in theory, I should be able to turn obsidian into... Turn this two obsidian into two pieces of chicken. And, yep, there we go. Damn! I got two bits of raw chicken. Or, if I, if I like, I can take uh, raw chicken. Actually, yeah. I can take raw chicken and cook the chicken. <laughs> I'll just cook this chicken via this chest. There we go. I no longer I no longer need an oven. Oh my god, this is so sick. This is so sick. <laughs> Alright, let's do the big one. 
Everybody wants to know. Diamonds. Actually, I've noticed that these gems have pretty high, but we're going to make a diamond, and I, I want to do this like what everybody has always thought of doing, and that's fucking just taking what you have. Uh, I, I don't think I have this in my item library, so we're going to put that in there. But let's just take what you fucking have um, and turn it into into a fucking diamond. Yes, this this is a must. I must do this. I'm just going to put everything in my inventory except for this chicken away because, you know, I'm, I'm, I might get hungry. And there we go. Just, just for now. And let's get... I have a shit ton of cobble. Now, this should build up. Like, it won't make a diamond. A, this much cobble. I'm going to need, like, 8,000... 8,000 cobble. I'm not going to have that much. But it's just going to drain in there, right? And it'll take a little time to build up. Because it's basically burning this cobble into, into diamond energy. And it's going to be doing that while I'm getting more cobble. Because fuck, man. It's, it's cobble. There's so much of it. And it's so goddamn cheap. I'm not even worried about it. This is so sick, though. But it, it's that one deal. I gotta test it, you know? I gotta make a diamond out of compressed cobble. Although not compressed cobble, this is this isn't compression. We're not compressing. This isn't even science. This is alchemy. I'm taking an equivalent substance here and I'm turning it into diamond, and it's just rolling right along. Look how much it's sucking up this cobble, and it's got a long ways to go, man. Uh, I don't I don't even think I may have enough cobble to to drain this. So let's see. Let's grab this, and this is the last of my cobble. If I get rid of all this cobble, though, it'll still be worth it. And afterwards, I guess I'll, I'll grab something else. I wonder how much extra it would cost to turn a, a... How many regular buckets it would take to turn into a filled bucket. Yeah. I'm just going to watch this for a second. You guys don't mind if I listen to my podcast, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> and seems to have introspection the same way that we do, and seems to have... And has dreams... Wouldn't you at some point want to just say, okay, fine, for moral purposes, we'll treat you as sentient? It's a so, sufficient criteria for intelligence to say that making someone believe that, you, making a human being specifically believe that you are another human being, cyber skinned, neural network driven program thing. Okay, I, this isn't going to be enough, guys. We're going to need more something. So, I got an awful lot of dirt. It's an ECM-1. We're going to throw all this dirt in. I can always make a ridiculous fuck ton of dirt. I'm not worried about it. Let's, let's just throw this in. I know this is like a ridiculous kind of thing. Ridiculous. That is the word of the day. That is the fucking word of the day. Here's, here's a whole bunch of... What is this? ECM-4? What the hell? Alright, well, well, we'll just throw this cobble in. Or, I mean, this gravel in. I don't know why gravel is more uh, precious than than cobble. I mean, I, I realize there's not as much of it. Oh, ECM-4 is doing the job. Look at it climb now. Sick. Let's put this stuff ahead. Put it in the front of the line. See how far that climbs. <laughs> this is so fucking sick. <laughs> I'm looking at some of this other stuff that I might be able to make, but this stuff, like this right here, I don't think I'll be able to make it because I need a philosopher's stone. And to make that, I am going to have to go and get some glowstone, so oh well. What the hell was that? What's making that? Is that a bird? I'm going to assume that's a bird. Hmm. What's up, dude? Oh, man! Get him, turtle! Oh, the turtle's not fighting for me. It must be because I keep killing his brethren or something. I wonder. Well, that's well, that's working on the dirt. Let's go down here real quick. This no, this wouldn't be. They wouldn't allow me to do this. No, no, it looks like not. Because <laughs> it doesn't have an ECM value. And if it doesn't have an ECM value, my guess. You know, I'm not going to focus on it. I'll let Thomcraft be Thomcraft. I've, I've got my own crystal farm anyway. It's not that big a deal. So, do we got a diamond yet? No, we don't. We're short a couple. Um, hmm. 
What do I have a dick load of that I really don't use that much of? What about logs? Okay, wood is four. Logs are 32. That makes sense. Let's throw some logs on the fire. Let's throw a stack of logs on the fire. As it were. You know. Here we go. And that's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I made a diamond. I made a diamond. Yeah. And now I need to uh, get something to kind of fill it up. Gee, what, what can I have? You know what? Was that enough to make a pumpkin? Let's grab this. We're just going to take this out, and we're going to make a pumpkin. Five pumpkins. That's good enough. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking sick, guys. This is so sick, it's wonderful. And it makes me happy that I kept all of this, this item library, you know? So I can say, like, Axe of the... St you know what? It, probably not. But, uh, let's, let's just put this in and see what happens. No, it's not going to make Thomcraft stuff. Okay, good. That really would have felt like cheating. So, okay, I'm I'm actually going to take this stuff out, because the whole point of the item library wasn't just to collect stuff, although that's pretty fun, too. It was so that I could actually use, or so that I could duplicate things. And if I can't duplicate it, I don't want it in my item library. Not really. Nah, it's not going to make an egg. Okay, so it seems that if it doesn't show the ECM, then I won't be able to make it. What about rubber? That would be also a little ridiculous. Here's some rubber. Throwing some logs. No, no, it's not gonna make any rubber. Oh, oil has an ECM though. But some of this other stuff doesn't, so I'm gonna remove all of this. I don't need a storage area anymore. I can just convert it all into diamond. That's sick, man. That's really, really sick. Yes, that, that includes all the wood, everything. Because fuck it, if I need something, I come here now. I don't like, yeah, damn, man. <laughs> All right, a different kind of grind, but it'll clear everything out. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll get to work on that now. Okay, <laughs> this has actually gotten a little bit redonkulous. Just so you know, it's gotten pretty crazy. Um, hmm, I wonder, because now I have, like, a, a whole th trunk load of fucking diamonds now. Now, this may sound ridiculous. It may sound like I've just broken the game, right? But uh, Equivalent Exchange is a little bit more clever than that. See, I don't have anything else in storage. I just took everything and pulled it out of storage, except for one box right here, which I haven't got to yet, but I will eventually, which is all of these ores. But, so, so basically, instead of hunting for everything, I can just create it as long as I have a copy of it in my chest. With exception, I've found that anything that does not have an ECM value, like this bottle has an, or I'm sorry, an EMC. I've been saying it wrong all this time and you've been letting me? Anyway, as long as it doesn't have an EMC value, uh, I can't make it. So I'm actually going to pull this stuff out and make a separate collection. But like these saddles... I'm, I'm not going to use these saddles, or this, uh, this thread, basically just anything. So what I figured is, alright, you know, screw all that. Uh, I'm not going to turn everything into diamond. I'm going to keep a copy of, you know, one thing, but if I get too much of it, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in. Or if it looks like I'm never going to use it, like these steps, I'm not going to use these steps. Um, I'll, I'll throw it in. So I'm not going to go completely crazy, <laughs> which is, is really easy when you could just make blocks and blocks of diamonds. Diamonds! DIAMONDS! <laughs> but no, really, this diamond here, this is fuel for when I want to make something. I'll make a shitload of it. Like, let's say... Okay, actually, diamonds is probably not the way to go. <laughs> As fuel goes. Because then something happens. Like, what if I might want to make these steps? and I put in a diamond, and it's going to give me, like, 8,192 steps. Actually, you know what? That'd be fucking awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> what the shit was that about? <laughs>